Good morning, you guys. So it is a beautiful day here in San Antonio, and I thought that I would just go out and go exploring today and take you guys to some of my like all-time favorite places in San Antonio. So the so first stop is the Japanese Tea Gardens, and then Brackenridge Park, and maybe to the Pearl uh, if I have time. So I just got here to the Japanese Tea Gardens and. Yeah, time to go do some exploring. to spot to get your homecoming pictures taken, your prom photos, engagement photos, all that kind of stuff. And apparently it's a good spot to have a wedding. There's actually a wedding going on right now up there. So it's closed off. But that's okay because we can still explore the rest of this place. There's a bunch of fish in this pond, and I don't see any today. I don't know where they are. It's like 11 o'clock, so I don't know. I'm coming up to the best part of the tea gardens. underrated places in San Antonio. Um, I think it's like more popular among locals than it is tourists. So this is not something you see all over San Antonio. Bamboo. So I think I've just discovered that I like vlogging on my phone way better. Way better. It's so much easier. Only bad thing is, my phone does not fit on my selfie stick with my case on it. So I don't have a case on my phone right now. And it makes me a little nervous.
back road behind the gardens where I think it's like a service road or something I don't know but um you can walk up here and there's a couple of spots where you can see like the views and like take pictures and stuff what most people don't know is that there is actually a way to get to the top of the waterfall from up here and so yeah I'm gonna take you guys there you guys there's like a colony of cats that lives here look there's another one they're all over the place. Alright guys, let me see if I can manage to get back here while holding this and not die. I'm recording this to show you guys how freaking clumsy I am. Oh god. When you're coming down here, So, watch out for spiders when you're coming down here. There's a bride and groom, you guys. They just got married. Up there. I wonder if I'm in their picture. <laughs> I'm totally gonna photo bomb them and they're gonna see me up here later. So, this is my favorite spot to come when I come here because you just get an awesome view and nobody really knows that this is up here or nobody knows how to get to it I guess so there's never anybody up here so if you guys come to the Japanese tea gardens then try and find this place because it's a really cool spot so I'm at Brackenridge Park now and uh, I've been here a million times, but the longest time that I've lived here, um, I've never ridden this little train that goes through the park. So the tickets were only $4, so I decided that I was just gonna do it. So yeah, I'm gonna take a train ride in a minute, um, but I'm over here exploring right now while I wait. I have like three minutes. Oh shoot. Okay, I, hear, I think I hear the train, so. I need to like go run over there. There's the train. So I'm gonna have to say that if you're coming here and you wanna see 
Brackenridge Park, um, the Japanese Tea Gardens, and the Whitty Museum. Get a train ticket, they're only $4, and you can use it pretty much all day, um, or until they stop running the trains at 5. Um, and you can just hop off at all those places and explore it, and then just hop on a train when you're done, and come back here. So yeah, and that train ride was actually really cool. Um, it's about a two mile, I think, train ride, so it's pretty good. It probably took like 20 minutes or so. everything is. Behind me is the zoo right here. Across the way over there is Brackenridge Park and straight down that way is the tea gardens. If you get a parking spot down here you can pretty much walk to wherever you want to go down here which is cool and this whole area is awesome. 